we're aware of it as an event, the famine? I don't think we own it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll say two things about that. Um, first of all, like, um, you could say that in Ireland, you know, the survivors um, of the, the famine was difficult. Like, who wa who wa and for us, you like, you know, five or six generations down, right? Who wants to be told that their ancestors, you know, their great, great, great grandfather and grandmother, uh, you know, died on the side of the road with the grass stains on their mouth because, you know, like they were treated like animals and then they end up in bestial kind of situations. It's not exactly a feel good story, you know, is it? Uh, so, like, we did sweep it under the carpet. Do you, do, you, do you think there's shame attached to it? Yes, I absolutely think there was shame attached to it. And, like, you know, we abandoned a huge amount. You know, we switched our language. The only kind of scale Latinish. The Irish language, pre famine, was a bilingual culture. Post famine, it was increasingly just an English only culture. And, you know, you are marooned when you switch a language. You leave a lot behind yeah. when you switch a language. And in some ways, we, we still haven't really fully kind of recovered from that either. No other country in Europe, not one, has lost its language as much as Ireland has. Now, that's one way of looking at it. But the other thing one might say is, really, if you look for the Irish response to the famine, it's the Irish revival itself. Like, why, why in the, from the 1880s to the 1920s did we produce okay. the greatest poet in the world? at that time in the Anglophone world anyway, Yeats. Why did we produce the greatest novelist, Joyce? Why did we produce a, a tremendous slew of uh, dramatists, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the reason that I would argue is because they're the ones who have to take responsibility for the famine. They're the ones who have to reimagine Ireland, but in the English language. Because in a sense, we had to make ourselves up. We had to reinvent ourselves in the Irish language, from switching from the Irish language to the English language. You know, we had to kind of find a way to be Irish in the English language, yeah. and we had to take and break the English language and remould the Irish purposes. But it's the post-famine generation which does it, and then they reinvent Ireland, and then that becomes, um, you know, it takes a political response so, later. So but it's a, it's a legacy of the famine, Tommy. The Irish revival at the end of the 19th century is the real cultural response to the famine.